right y'all we've been talking about this uh this five bass tackle flat lock i think spotted bass like them here on clark's hill inhaled it All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Zach Ramsey Fishing. I'm out here on Clark's Hill, and today I wanted to bring you a little message from my friends over at ALX and Five Bass Tackle. So if you haven't heard, Five Bass Tackle has the all new flat lock sliding jig. This thing just came out a couple of months ago. Uh, some of us have been testing it for a little while now, and let me tell you, this thing is awesome. So if you're a fan of kind of the sliding jig category, it's really popular here on Clark's Hill, as well as some other lakes in the area. But what these jigs do is it's kind of a, it's a little bit of a lower profile. It's not quite as in the bass's face as uh, some other jig presentations. Provides a really natural look. So you've got your craw or your creature bait on here and uh, it sits at a nice angle. Um, kind of looks like a craw protecting itself. Kind of looks like a craw just kind of sliding around the bottom. And um, you know, these have been super effective on this lake, especially. I don't know how much money has been won on Clark's Hill with this style of jig. Um, but it's definitely a must have in your arsenal if you're anywhere in the southeast. Um, but I've also heard of guys using these up north um, to imitate the, the gobies and other forge that's up there that's kind of creeping along the bottom all the time. So this is a super versatile jig and uh, let's talk about it. All right, so what makes this flat lock sliding jig different than other jigs in its category. Well, the first thing you're gonna notice is the center locking screw pin here. And so what that's an improvement on is one, having the, the center lock is gonna help you be able to thread your bait on a whole lot quicker. And because of this improved angle, it's also gonna put less stress on your plastics. So one thing I've noticed with other jigs in this category is because of the angle of the screw lock, it ends up putting kind of a lot of stress on the on the butt end of your craw. So then you've got so much tension back here that you're kind of out of luck. Even if your your claws are still in place, they're still flapping away. Uh, you can't keep the bait on the jig. Um, so that's one thing that I think um, is a big improvement on this jig. Another thing is the unique head design. So you've got your kind of typical sliding jig profile. However, it's got these kind of raised beveled edges. And what that does is that prevents this thing from flipping over. It, it doesn't really matter what you do to it. It's always gonna land back center. So that's super helpful as you're coming through rocks or gravel, uh, whatever it might be, this thing's gonna stay upright. It's gonna have your bait in the right angle, the right presentation, and you're gonna have a lot less wasted casts. The other big thing here, and this is huge, is this big 5 aught VMC hook. So a lot of sliding jigs have a much thinner wire hook, and while that can help you getting that hook penetration, I've had a lot of them either break or they bend out, especially if you've got a big fish, you got a big large mouth, big spot, and they're kind of bend that hook out. So uh, this flat lock is gonna do a lot better for those bigger fish. It's still gonna get that good penetration. This VMC is super sharp, but you're not having to worry about bending a hook out and losing a big one, um, but, you know, potential tournament winning fish. So that's great. Um, and then the, the angle of the eye here is really good as well. So it's right dead center in line with that center pin screw lock. Um, and so that's again, gonna just keep your bait in the perfect, perfect angle, the perfect presentation. And it's a super effective deal. Um, I typically throw something like a Zoom Z craw on it. Um, there's a myriad of colors and stuff, of course, that you can put on it. Uh, like I said, up north, there are guys who use this as kind of a goby presentation, so they'll have a goby style bait on this thing. That's also proven very effective. Uh, Five Bass Tackle has these in uh, bronze and um, like a gunmetal grenade type color. Um, so you've got a couple different colors to choose from. I've been beating this one up for the last couple of months here and you can see most of the paint is still on that thing. Um, it holds up extremely well. I've caught a good number of fish on this one um, and it's, it's held up awesome. So uh, 
Really, really enjoy this jig. Um, it's definitely gonna be a big player for me come winter time and kind of that pre-spawn time uh, that everyone thinks about throwing a big jig. You know, it's a little bit different style than a big jig, but it, it's gonna get you those bites, especially when fish are pressured. Maybe they've seen 101 jigs and then you throw this flat lock down there and then, you know, they're like, ooh, yeah, I wanna grab that. So, so Five Bass Tackle has this awesome new flat lock sliding jig and okay you went you bought some perfect now what do i throw it on so i've got this paired on a promise 73 i've also thrown this on a zolo toad face so both the icos promise the zolo toad face are going to be really good options the uh the flat lock is it comes in variable sizes so you've got a three eighths and a half ounce available uh, we're working on getting a three quarter ounce out to y'all uh, for those deeper presentations um, but a promise or a toad face is really going to do well um, presenting this jig you're going to have plenty of weight and uh, backbone to drive that hook home um, they're also super sensitive um, this icos promise has been uh, probably my favorite way to throw it um, and then what do you want to Pair it with line wise is I would say typically 12 to 17 pound fluorocarbon depending upon what you're throwing it at. Uh, 15 pound fluorocarbon is going to be kind of your happy medium. That's what I've got on here and uh, it comes through rock brush really well. I don't really have to worry about um, breaking off or anything like that. So I would say you're good there. And then I throw mine on a seven series reel. So, you know, your 7.1, 7 7.5 to one uh, type speed reels. Allows you to be able to pick up line pretty quick and, and drive that hook home when they do bite. Um, but personally, I'm not a big fan of the eight to ones and 10 to ones. I think you lose a lot of your power there. So I tend to avoid those, but that's just me. So Ico's Promise 73. 7.5 to 1 gear ratio reel, 15 pound fluorocarbon, and then your five bass tackle flat lock. You're good to go. You're going to catch some bass. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you haven't gotten it yet, please check them out at fivebasstackle.com. Uh, you can stop by the shop, um, you know, give Alex a call and uh, he can get you some, uh, or you can order them online and have them shipped right to your door. Uh, so don't forget to check these out. There's lots of other great baits from Five Bass Tackle and we're working on rolling out some more as well. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Definitely also check out alxrods.com. Uh, check out the Promise 73. This is gonna be your awesome kind of just general purpose workhorse. And then the Zolo Toad Face is also a really good option if you're maybe wanting to not have too many rods and just have a few rods that do a whole lot of things. The, the Promise and the Toad Face are really gonna do you well for that. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Go keep chasing them with a five bass tackle flat lock jig. Buddy. All right, y'all, we've been talking about this uh, this five bass tackle flat lock. I think spotted bass like them here on Clarks Hill. 
inhaled it.